Hey everyone, uh, as you can see, uh, I've had a little accident. Um, if you've watched the last video, the one on Bausch Health, um, I shot that at my lunch break. And uh, little did I know that a few hours later, I would be sitting in the emergency room for six hours, getting my face sewn back together. Uh, so after I, I left work that day, um, I took a scooter home and uh, I was in a collision with somebody else on a scooter. And uh, even, even though I did everything right, uh, I was in my lane, in the biking lane. I was looking out for cars. I was driving in the speed limit, uh, you know, being extra careful because it, it was raining a little that day. Uh, some other person who was coming from a side street turned across uh, 14th Street. So he went across uh, several lanes of traffic and turned into my lane and hit me head on. My head hit the floor, uh, you know, and uh, I ended up in the emergency room getting a CAT scan, getting my face sewed back together. Uh, this was four days ago, by the way, four or five days ago. It was on Wednesday and uh, I'm talking to you now. It's uh, Sunday night. Um, and it looked much worse the day that it happened. But, uh, you know, I, I thought I would uh, try to make these videos uh, once or twice a week. And I, I don't want to slack on that no matter what. So here I am. Uh, I would rather not be looking like this on camera. But, um, you know, I think I can use this as a learning opportunity for myself. Uh, so Charlie Munger said that, uh, you know, setbacks are a good opportunity for you to react well and you know if you uh, learn to take setbacks uh, as they come with magnanimity and uh, stoicism then you know that'll make you a better person uh, so you know as much as I didn't relish this happening you know I have a, a phobia about needles and uh, you know they're sticking needles right <laughs> near my eye uh, which is the the worst place You'd, you'd want to see a needle, uh, you know, I, I'm taking this as a opportunity, as Charlie Munger said, to uh, learn from my mistakes and to uh, treat misfortune and setbacks uh, with stoicism and magnanimity and uh, uh, try to learn from that. So, uh, you know, what is my role that I, I played in this? You know, uh, I wasn't wearing a helmet. Uh, I did have a helmet and take it because I walked to work that day and I thought I would be walking back home and uh, you know, the weather was uh, not great. And uh, you know, when I checked Uber, the, you know, premium charges they were charging, I, I should have just called it, but I decided to start walking back. And then at some point I decided, okay, I'll just take the scooter. Cause you know, rather than walking up the hill to my house, I would just take the scooter the rest of the way uphill and then you know uh, uh but that as i said didn't work out that way i was doing everything well i was i was being careful but uh you know somebody else wasn't and uh you know that's just uh something that we have to take account in life you know even if you do all the right things somebody else might not be uh and in terms of you know what i would do different next time uh you know no amount of of uh preparation uh, and duty of care or anything like that would have prepared me for this because I, as I said, I was doing everything right and I was extra careful, but uh, you know, I absolutely should have been wearing a helmet. I probably shouldn't be doing this at all. Uh, if it was, you know, the, the least bit raining, I should have waited for the rain to stop. I should have, uh, you know, stayed at work a little longer until the, uh, congestion fare went down on Uber or Lyft and then taking a lift. Uh, you know, there's there's plenty of other things I could have done. I could have kept walking. Uh, it was uphill, but I could have kept walking. Uh, you know, it just a million things I could have done. Um, but I, I, you know, did something that uh, was not ideal under the circumstances, and uh, I ended up uh, paying for it. So, um, you know, a lot of times in life, uh, you get dealt these setbacks, and you know, like I said, just try to use this as an opportunity to learn. And, uh, you know, tying this back to investment because it's supposed to be an investing channel, um, I was very uh, 
pleased to read the book, The Snowball by Alice Schroeder, which was the only authorized biography that Warren Buffett uh, ever issued or allowed to be written about him. And um, in her interviews about the book, when they asked her about Buffett's process and does he use formulas and things like that, uh, she said, not really, but uh, he does do something different uh, than other investors, which is, uh, it doesn't matter how much he's going to make at a, on a investment. He always looks at the cat catastrophic, uh, catastrophic risks first. So what's the cat risk? And if that cat risk is something that could uh, damage the company or put them out of business, doesn't matter how much you can make on it, uh, he won't do it. And this sort of relates to uh, Charlie Munger's theory of inversion, where um, Charlie famously said, you know, just tell me where I'm going to die so I don't go there. Um, and, you know, if you start with, you know, the things that could possibly go wrong and work backward from there, uh, then, you know, you can avoid a lot of problems. So, you know, if I had said, okay, uh, I know it's only a short distance, you know, I walked most of the way and I'm just going to take this scooter up the hill. Uh, if I had said to myself, well, you're going up a hill and it's a little wet and uh, you're not wearing a helmet and even if you do everything right, somebody else might not do everything right. Uh, and what's the worst that could happen? Um, you know, you could end up in the ER like I did, getting a CAT scan and getting your face sewed to get back together, uh, or uh, you could die. And I think if I had thought about that way, you know, inverting, as uh, Charlie Munger said, or uh, starting with the cat risk, the, the uh, catastrophic risk, as uh, Buffett would say, then I, I wouldn't have made these choices. Uh, so I'm, I'm humbled now, and um, hopefully uh, this vivid reminder will um, make me better, make me better at uh, deciding these things in the future and making better choices, because um, as Munger has said in the past, you know, vivid examples are, are more memorable to people than uh, you know abstract numbers or things like that. So if I had thought about the probabilities, which I'm sure I did, you know, I said, well, what if, I'm going to be extra careful, and I was extra careful, but something happened to me anyway. Uh, but you know, this if I had thought about the vivid example of what could happen, then I probably wouldn't have made this choice. Uh, so I'm out a few hundred bucks for uh, the ER and the Ubers and the uh, the trip to um, the urgent care that I did before I went to uh, the hospital, the ER room. But, you know, that's uh, a stupid tax on me because I didn't uh, invert, as Charlie Munger would say, or start with the cat risk. Uh, and, you know, even though I was extra careful and I didn't do anything wrong, somebody else did something wrong and I, I'm paying for that. Uh, so, you know, I'm not bitter about it at all. I'm grateful to the two people who helped me when I was, uh, you know, laying in the on the sidewalk bleeding. You know, blood was gushing out of my face, and one lady uh, ran like a block and a half away to a store and got a bunch of paper towels. And another lady uh, called my partner so that she'd be waiting for me when I got home. And uh, you know, she took very good care of me. <laughs> uh, my eye was a lot more gruesome four days ago. You know, it was very swollen. I could um, I could barely see out of this eye, um, and you know, was uh, was very great about that. And you know, uh, a good friend was able to watch my dog as well while I went to the ER. So uh, you know, I, I'm grateful that uh, uh, there's good people out there who uh, you know are willing to help others. Uh, some were friends of mine. One was my partner, and there were two complete strangers who helped. Um, so, you know, it, it's, uh, reaffirmed my faith in humanity and, uh, uh, it's going to make me be more careful next time <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, look out for black swans, not only in my investing portfolio, but in life. Uh, so I, I hope, uh, this has been helpful to you. You know, I've only, I know I've only got four subscribers, so if it helps even one of you, I'm happy. Uh, and if you come across this, um, you know, please like and subscribe and then you'll see uh, future content. Uh, have a great day. Thanks.